I'm Teresa with Targeted Reading Instruction based at Frank Porter Graham Child Development Institute. And today we're going to talk about how the brain learns to read. A child's brain needs to develop neuroplasticity in order to support reading. Neuroplasticity is how the brain changes as it wires and organizes itself for new learning. Reading is an extremely difficult task and a child's brain is already bombarded by so much new input and stimuli. We know through research and amazing brain scientists like Stanislaus Dehan that one of the most effective ways to enhance neuroplasticity is through focused attention. Focused attention helps filter out less important information while putting an emphasis or a spotlight on our brain's neural connections so they know what to do or what to change in order for new learning to occur. So let's watch these videos and see if we can see the use of focused attention. I want you to tell me what sounds do you hear in the word glass? Glass. Glass. Das. Oh. Glass. Gas. Okay. If I say glass, what sound do you hear coming out of my mouth? Glass. Ah. Okay, you hear an ah sound. I want you to look at this. What is that? Glass. That's a glass, right? Mm -hmm. And what is a glass? Like a kind of thing that is like, um, the glass is like made out like glass. Yeah, yeah, it's made out of glass. It's clear, right? And you can yeah. drink out of it. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to put that picture there. You know what a glass is. Now I want you to think about the sounds that come out of your mouth to make that word. And I'm drawing lines because this is how many sounds there are when you say glass, mm -hmm. glass. So if I said to you, Penny, say the word glass. Say it really slow for me. Guh. What was the first sound? Guh. 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 Okay, great. Can you find the guh sound? And say the sound and pull it down. Guh. And very good. It would go right over there because it's the first letter in the word. Now, what's the next sound when you say glass? Guh. Ah. 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 Oh, you're so close. Look, watch my finger. Say it slow. Guh. Ah. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Glass. What's the sound? That's it. What's the sound? In this first segment, Penny did not understand the task. I needed her to segment the sounds in the word instead of creating rhyming words. First, I redirected her attention to the target word by showing her a visual of the word and asking her to define it. Next, I asked her to repeat the word as I drew lines on the whiteboard to make a visual connection between the sounds and the spoken word. I focused her attention on the individual sounds by asking her to slowly say the word, and I kept her attention and focus on the association between the letters and the sounds by giving her a tactile experience finding and moving the letter tiles. Hey, Lily, let's read this page again for me. Uh... Uh, you know what? Let's try something. I'm going to try with my whiteboard, okay? And I need my marker. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's look at that word real carefully, okay? Good, and hold on a second. We're going to do, I'm going to teach you something. So we're going to do, you said the first sound. Can you say that to me again? Uh, now put those two sounds fun. together. Good job. Fun. Mm, fun. What was the word? Fun. Very good, Lily. Let's go back and let's read that again. Perfect. Fun in the sun. I wanted Lily to focus on what to do when she came across a word that she couldn't read. First, I isolated the word to bring it into our visual field. Then we broke the task of blending sounds into smaller steps, making sure she said each sound as she progressively blended. Then she repeated the word out loud and read the book by herself. I want you to read this book. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can you read this to me? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. 
the big pig. Let's see if we can read one more page. I know it's hard with other kids in the room. Oh, Penny, what I want you to try to do, I'm gonna start this over. What I want you to try to do is, I want you to point to each word as you go, okay? And you know what, I'm gonna go to this page, I'm gonna cover up the picture. So you're really looking at the words, so you can see when you're watching the words, okay? Okay, so point to the picture, I mean point to the words and read it to me. The big. What was that? Big. Pig. There you go. The pig. Good. So what's this picture going to be? Pig. Ah, pig. Okay, let's try another one. Ready? Point for me. The big pig. And what do you think is going to be this picture? The pig at the playground. Yes, or he's maybe even... Big. Big. Oh, there he is. I think you were kind of right. It looks like he's playing with the kids, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try one more page. Are you ready? The big pig. Wait. In this segment, I wanted Penny to focus on reading a book. First, I had to redirect her visual attention to the words found in the text. I did this by asking her to point to each word as she read. I also covered the pictures to challenge her to focus on the meaning of what she was reading. By asking her to summarize and describe what she thought each picture might look like, I was able to keep her attention on the book and build her excitement about the story. Thanks for watching.